Hey y'all, welcome to day 20 of my vlog. I'm going to share my thoughts, ideas, and my journey in life with you guys. Um, uh, today's Sunday. It's a very beautiful day today. I hope all you guys are having a great and blessed Sunday. Um, but for today's topic, what I really want to talk about today, um, you know, since it's Sunday, I, um, I want to focus on uh, spirit, my spirituality, and I want to focus on, um, you know, my faith in God, especially... Um, the role he plays in my life as I'm working to, towards my dreams, goals, and aspirations, uh, and just life in general, happiness, love, life fulfillment. Um, uh, I want to share something that, you know, that helps me, and I, and I also observe that a lot of people struggle with, especially when it comes to uh, their relationship and, you know, and their uh, journey with God um, in their life. And, the one thing I always observe a lot of people is um, a lot of people find it really, really hard to center their life um, with God and and still be able to live um, a modern day life uh, with God in it. And I know that's something that I observe a lot. A lot of people suffer with because you know we live in a you know it's a it's a it's a it's a it's a crazy world, I can say, you know. Um, just so much. Uh, there's so much influences, so much things we see on the social media, on the media, TV. There's just so many you know things that we get involved with with our friends and just you know enjoying and having fun and living life. And then oftentimes, as human beings, you know, we're going to uh, make a lot of mistakes, and you know, and especially as human beings, you know, we're trying to find ourselves in this crazy world. Uh, we're trying to find our happiness. We're trying to find our peace. We're trying to find love. Uh, we're trying to make good friends and build great relationships. We're trying to enjoy life. You know, that's part of life. You know, life is not to be to be in pain and, and to struggle. Life is to you know, life is to you know have fun and enjoy and um, you know do things that make you happy. Um, and of course, we want to be accepted, right? Um, that's how we are as people. We're a Social, uh, we're social creatures. Like you know, we want to feel accepted. We want to be part of a family. We want to be part of a group of friends. We want to be part of an organization. We want to be part of a congregation. Um, and a lot of times, it's you know, we're gonna you know sometimes like like I said, we're gonna make mistakes. And you know, sometimes we do things that may not reflect our our beliefs, especially uh, with the scripture, the scriptures and the teachings and the doctrine of um, of. Uh, of the Bible, right? So the one thing I just want to say, first and foremost, everybody out there, I want to express my love to all you guys. Number one, in the eyes of Henry Father, we are always worthy of his love. And I cannot stress that enough. I want to express that as much as you can. I want to express that love to all you guys. Understand, God always loves you no matter what, unconditionally. And I know a lot of times, you know, uh, that we don't live a life that's reflective uh, of the path of uh, of Heavenly Father. Of course, living a, a Christ-like life, you know. At the end of the day, we're human. We're going to make mistakes, you know. I'm not the perfect man either, you know. Uh, I try my best to center my life around around God. Um, I do have faith in God. I do believe Him. I do believe uh, without Him in my life, there's nothing I can do. There's nothing I can achieve. Uh, there is no happiness, true happiness in my life if I don't include God in it. Uh, but I also understand I'm a human being, I'm a man, I'm going to make mistakes. Uh, you know, sometimes I do, uh, you know, I do things that may not reflect my, my, uh, my principles, my values. Sometimes, you know, um, you know, I, I fall short, you know, to my own flesh, uh, my shortcomings as a man. And the things uh, I feel like sometimes uh, for pleasure, um, but that's just um, you know that's just. I, but I also understand that's just. I mean, we're not supposed to be perfect, right? We're not meant to be perfect. And I know a lot of times, a lot of people feel like they're not worthy of God. It's because of all the criticism and judgment they receive uh, from people, from people within the church, from society, uh, from their friends, from their families. And I know a lot of people feel like they're not worthy of God. And and I want to express my love to all you guys out there that you are always worthy of God's love. 
no matter what you do in this life. And that's the beauty of God. That's the, that's the power of His love. That's the greatness of His love. That we don't have to qualify for His love. That God's love will always qualify us. And you must understand that we're not, we weren't created to be perfect. We're all human. We're make, going to make a lot of mistakes in, my, in your life. You know, I'm a man. I make a lot of mistakes all the time. Even though I try my best, even though I, t I try my best towards to live as a God, to center God in my life, to live a Christ-like life. Um, but like I said, I'm, I understand I'm a, I'm a man. Uh, I am made with the, uh, you know, I fall short to my temptations and I, sometimes I fall to my temptations, uh, to the flesh. And, um, but I also understand that I wasn't meant to be perfect. Um, you know, our, our purpose in life here is to fulfill His purpose. And I understand that we're going to go through my ups and downs and I'm not going to be perfect. Um, but the one thing that I can say, in my experience, um, I believe the most important thing when it comes to our faith, when it comes to um, getting closer to Heavenly Father, I believe the most important thing in our life when it comes to our faith with God when it comes to our path with God, when it comes to uh, our work that we do every single day towards His purpose, I truly believe the most important thing is our relationship with God. And a lot of people forget that. Um, even though scriptures is important, even though going to church, I do believe it's important. Uh, even though praying is important. Uh, even though, you know, reading the Bible, you know, doing... <clears throat> You know, doing all the things you can. Uh, you know, I'm not taking away any any. I don't. I'm not taking away any anything from from those things. Those things. I truly believe reading the scriptures and going to church. Um, you know, it, it 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 creates a lifestyle. You know, it keeps you disciplined, right? Um, it's just faith is just like working out, You're like like a muscle. Like a muscle, you have to put repetitions in to build it. Um, going to church and reading the scriptures. You know, and you know, uh, talking to your uh, leaders in your church—that's that's the way of our. That's how we exercise and get our our spiritual reps in uh, to build that endurance. But I truly believe in my life, in my experience, the most important thing is our relationship with Heavenly Father. Because you can read the scriptures all you want, uh, you can go to church all you want, uh, you can you can talk to your church leaders all you want. Uh, you know, you can try to portray a life, uh, to make it seem like that you are living a Christ-like life. But if you don't have a relationship with Heavenly Father, if you don't have a open line, a, a way of communication with Him, uh, to be open your heart and mind and soul to Him, uh, then it's very hard for you to hear His voice, hear His message, and to attract the blessings that uh, you want and desire for your life. Because without a relationship, without a, a connect in a connected line, you know, without a a, a, a form of communication with them, there is no reciprocation, right? There is no, you know, there is, you know, there is no um, including him in, in in your life. Then it's really hard to see the blessings and feel his presence in your life. And I cannot stress. Uh, stress that enough because you know we're not and of course a lot of people you know you know as human beings we're gonna make a lot of mistakes we're gonna fail we're gonna we're gonna fall short we're gonna fall to temptation we're gonna fall to our weaknesses to our own personal pleasures uh, as humans and that's part of life you know uh, even though I try to do my best but like this I know for, for a fact I'm I make a lot of mistakes all the time, but the one thing I strive to do, and of course, I'm not perfect either. I'm not, I'm not the best when it comes to reading my scriptures every single day. I'm not the best when it comes to my attendance, uh, when going to church. I'm not the best when it comes to, you know, um, talking uh, to my spiritual leaders, which I, I should, by the way. Uh, it's something I need to work on. I, I, I am aware of that. I'm not trying to disregard it and dismiss it. Uh, I do need to read the scriptures every single day, but the one thing for me that really helps me to feel God's love and guidance and direction in my life is I always focus on making sure that no matter my shortcomings, no matter my falls, no matter my, my mistakes, no matter my sins, 
I always put an effort to make sure that I, I keep an open relationship with Heavenly Father. I always make sure that I have a relationship with God. And by having a relationship, there's always reciprocation for me to feel His love, feel His mercy, feel His power, feel His, uh, His kindness, His sympathy, His generosity, His blessings. To feel all the good that God has that has and wants for me. I can feel it in my life. I can feel His guidance. I can feel uh, His calling. I can feel His voice. I can feel His direction. I can, feel, I can you know, the discernment. Right? I can feel His Spirit. Especially, especially in the hard times in my life. Especially those days when I'm just going through it. And uh, I feel like, you know, there's so much burden. And then I just feel the pressure or the burden of just the weight of all the things I'm going through in my life. Uh, but that's when that relationship uh, kicks in, and like all relationships, like we all, everybody, everybody has that one person. All you guys that's watching right now, we all have that one person in our, in our life, right? Um, that we can always call and talk to, to receive guidance, to receive inspiration, to receive love, um, you know, just to receive that encouragement, encouragement, and empowerment in our life. And that's what Heavenly Father does to me. And and that's something I that I want to encourage all you guys out there that, of course, do your best. You know, do your best to read the scriptures. Do your best to go to church every single day. Do your best to communicate and talk to your church leaders uh, for for counsel. But <clears throat> to me, the most important thing for me is making sure that I have a relation. I build. I only build, stabilize, and grow my relationship with Heavenly Father. And that's how I'm. I'm still able to. And that's why I know that um, all the times in my life when things were just wa- weren't working out, when I was making going through some hit rock bottom or if I went, made some big mistakes and I, I realized like, I didn't know what to do. I didn't know how my life was going to turn out. I, didn't, I, I had no idea what the future was going to look like. But every single time in those situations, I, you know, life, oh, I always figured it out. Even though I didn't feel like I had any chance of figuring things out even though I didn't see no solution even though I, I did not feel inspired even though I did not feel like uh, I feel like that anything was going to uh, I didn't see any light in, within, my, within my own darkness but uh, because I always maintained a relationship with him always came back to God that I was always res- able to receive his presence his strength his love his faith uh, his kindness his mercy in my life and I just want to express my love to all you guys out there that we're always worthy of God's love. Uh, His love qualifies all of us. We don't have to qualify for Him. I know a lot of people out there, including myself, I've felt that sometimes. I've experienced this where sometimes I feel like because I don't live a Christ-like life or because I'm not the best when it comes to reading my scriptures, because you know I haven't gone to church in a while or because I haven't talked to my spiritual leaders in a while or you know I've kind of just like, disappear from the world and kind of focus on, on my own life and just need some time for me and that's fine you know and like, like I said if you need some time for yourself if you need uh, if you need some time to, to yourself to find yourself to focus on your happiness to figure out who you are um, I highly encourage that sometimes we do need that as human beings but the one thing I can only add to that is understand that you have to include him in your journey in life regardless if you you know t- take a step back and you know, um, you know, distance yourself from everybody else, from your family, your friends, from society, because you just want to focus on what you're going through. But, you know, we can't grow through what we go through without um, God having a hand in it. And that's something I, I've always experienced in my life, that I've always been able to find answers. I was always able to uh, move, find the strength to move forward. I was always able to, um, you know, find the courage and the faith uh, to keep pushing in the hard times in my life is no matter how many mistakes I've made, no matter how many falls I've made, no matter uh, how, how I messed, you know, messed up my own life big time, um, I've always tried, I always came back to him. I've always tried to keep a relationship with him. I always had to, I always tried to be humble enough to come back and know when uh, I'm wrong, when I know that I need help and know that I need direction. Because sometimes a lot of people, you know, when they, you know, make a lot of mistakes, they feel like that they're, they're too, you know, they're far from safe. That they're not worthy of saving. They're not worthy of His love. 
and they're not worthy of his direction. And I want to express to all you guys out there, if you feel that way, that um, God is always there for you. And he's always willing to come to you. He's always willing to talk to you. He's always willing to help you. Uh, but you have to keep that open line of communication. You have to keep that relationship open with Heavenly Father. Right? And that's, and that's the, I truly believe that's the most important thing. And like I said, you know, a lot of times people feel, you know, feel afraid to go to church because of the judgment and criticism of people. You know, judging you because you haven't been to church in a while, or judging you because they haven't seen you, or maybe you know, they know about you know, your personal life, your personal struggles because of what you've done, uh, the, things you, the things you have done in the past or things you are currently doing now. You know, everybody's, everybody's quick to judge everybody, even though everybody's going through something, even though everybody's not perfect. But just understand that when you go to, whether, whether you do it at home, whether you pray at home, or whether you go to church to pray, you understand that you're not going to church to, uh, for the people. You're not going to church for the people there. You're not going to, to church for the leaders there. You're going to church be, because you're going there for your own relationship with, with Heavenly Father. You're not going to please, you're not there to please anybody in there. You're not going out there to impress anybody. You're not going there to impress your deacon, your priest, or your, your bishop. Right, uh, you're not going there to impress anybody. The only person that you're going there for uh, is Heavenly Father, and like I said, Heavenly Father doesn't need to be impressed. Heavenly Father doesn't need uh, doesn't doesn't need for you to go out. To, Heavenly Father doesn't need to be impressed. He doesn't need because he already knows it. He already knows you. He already knows everything you've gone through. He already knows everything that you you have experienced. He already knows the things you're dealing with. All he wants you to do is to come to Him and be open with Him and show that you do need Him in His life and show that you do care and also do show that you do have some type of faith in Him, right? That you're willing to come to Him in, even with all your vulnerabilities and all the things that's going through your life. You're willing to come to Him and ask Him for His help. So I just want to share this, uh, share this with you guys out there. Um, and that's something that helps me uh, even though I have a long way to go, and I'm like I said, I'm not the, I'm not this spiritual savant, the spiritual guru that you know <laughs> a lot of people uh, make me out to be. But I'm no, I'm just a, I'm just a ordinary man, a man with mistakes, a man with the past, a man uh, that falls short and you know that sins. But one thing I do have is I do have extraordinary faith and belief. That um, God will always take care of me, and I do that by making sure that I always keep an open relationship with Him. So that way, I do know because I know for a fact that in the future I'm gonna make mistakes. I know for a fact in the future things will not work out. I know for a fact in the future there will be days when I don't feel the courage, I don't feel inspired, I don't feel the strength, and I do know for a fact that sometimes I may need answers in my life that I cannot understand or I cannot see, I cannot find. And that's when I need to turn to Heavenly Father. Because I do know, um, I can, you know, I can only do certain things in my life, but there's a lot of things I cannot do. And the things I cannot do when it comes to happiness, the things I cannot do when it comes to attracting love into my life, the things I cannot do when it comes to my success, that's when Heavenly Father comes in and does the things that I cannot do. Right? Do what you can do, and God will do the things that you cannot do. Uh, but that starts with having a relationship with Heavenly Father, right? Heavenly Father doesn't care about your mistakes. He doesn't care about your mistake, but about your past. He doesn't care about the things you've done. All He cares that I truly believe the most important thing is is not about going to church, even though it is important. It's not about reading scriptures. I do believe it is important. It's not about making sure that you're always seen within church functions, even though that is important in contributing in, uh, to your church. But the most important thing is, is making sure that you have an open relationship and you do, have and ma- you do have and maintain and consistently build a relationship with Heavenly Father. Because no matter what you do in this life, no matter if you go to church every single day, no matter if you know all the scriptures, no matter if you are seen in public, in all the church functions, but if you don't have a relationship with Heavenly Father, if you don't talk to Him, if you don't pray to Him, if you don't have a conversation with Him, if you don't allow Him into your life to guide you, to heal you, to strengthen you, 
right? Then you're always going to be lost. You're always going to be lost mentally. You're always going to be going to be lost spiritually, physically, emotionally, right? Um, you're going to be lost all the time. And I know, I know that, and of course, a lot of people, and I do notice a lot of people that feel that way because they feel like that because of their past, because of what they've done, they feel uh, that they're unworthy. They're not deserving of all the good things that God wants for you, of all the good things that you desire in your heart, for your happiness, for your love, for your success, that you deserve, by the way. All right? And the reason why we deserve it is because we are His children, like any father for his children. He unconditionally wants them to live their best life. He unconditionally wants them to be happy. He unconditionally wants them to find peace, happiness, and love in their life. But of course, we have to put in the work, but God's exactly the same way. He wants all those things for our life, but we must have a relationship with Him. We must come to Him, we must allow Him, and we must let Him lead us in everything we do. And that's something that helps me all the time is, you know, that's why, that's something that always helps me, especially when it comes to the criticism, the judgment, the hate from people in my life, from people in the world, from society, that always want to judge a certain person's life and how they live their life, even though they have their own things that they go through in their own personal life, but they don't want to share and express the world, express to the world. So is I don't care what people think. I don't care. Um... You know what people think about when it comes to my faith and my own uh, with my own uh, commitment to my to my faith to my church. Um, I do love my church, but the most important thing for me is besides the church is my I always put ahead of my church is I always put my relationship with Heavenly Father because once I'm, my relationship is good with Him, I know for a fact that I'll I'll be able to have the things the inspiration, the strength, and the love to do all the things that He wants me to do to fulfill His purpose. And by fulfilling His purpose, I'm able to give back to my community. I'm able to give back to my family. I'm able to give back to my uh, congregation, so <clears throat> to my church. So, uh, But yeah, I want to express that love to all you guys. I understand that um, make sure every single day, no matter what you do in your life, always try to have a relationship with Heavenly Father. And, and, and the best way to to work on your relationship is just, is just simple communication. Right? Just talk to Him. Talk to Him every single day. Talk to Him about your needs. Talk to Him about your struggles. Talk to Him about your insecurities. Talk to Him about your fears, your doubts. Talk to Him about all the things that you're suffering. Talk to him about you know, all the negative thoughts, the dark, the dark thoughts you have, all your things that, you, that, that are holding you back, that's weighing in your heart. Talk to Him. Because you're gonna, I'm telling you, I do this all the time. But when you start talking to him, talking to him, have an open relationship with him, you realize that all the things that are holding you back start to get lighter and lighter, and that burden that you carried in your heart is start, it started to be lifted, started to go to be healed in the process, and you start finding the strength that you never thought you had. You start finding the kindness that you never thought you had. You start finding the love and the, the courage that you always had. It's always been within you the whole time. It's just it's just being weighed down by all the other baggage to have the, the negative thoughts, the feelings, and and just the trauma and all the things, the struggles you've gone through in your life, and you have to you have to let those things you have to let those things uh, be carried out. You have to let this, those things be lifted by him because there's certain things in our life there's certain things in our life that we can not heal and lift on our own. Right? There's certain things in our life that we can't heal within ourselves. There's certain things we can't be lifted with ourselves. There's certain things we can't do when it comes to our, when it comes to the things that we, the demons that we feel that we deal with every single day, the things we go through every single day. There's some things that we can't handle on our own, and that's and there's only certain some certain things that only God can do for you. Right, and but the only way you, you can allow God to do that for you is you have to have a relationship with Him. Right, it's just like your family. There's something. There's only certain things in your life that your your mom could do for you, when it comes to the support and love that you need. There's only certain things that your dad can only do for you when it comes to the guidance and direction, the strength you need from your dad. No one else can inspire you like your mom. No one else can inspire you like your dad can. But the only way you can receive that love, that appreciation, that that support from from your mom and your dad is you gotta have a relationship with them. You gotta you gotta you gotta talk to them to receive that guidance. 
to receive that love, support from your mom, your dad, right? Or, or whoever in your life that, 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 that plays that role in your life. It's the same thing when it comes to Heavenly Father. There's only certain things that He can do for your life to heal you, to, to strengthen you, to support you, right? And I know a lot of times we, we feel like we're not worthy. We feel like because we haven't read the scriptures, because we feel like because we haven't gone to church in a while, because we feel like you know, we haven't lived a life that's reflective of His principles and His values, and we haven't, lived, we haven't centered our life around it because of all the mistakes we made. Look, that's part of life. But it doesn't change the fact that He's still our Heavenly Father, that we can still go back to Him, that we can still have a relationship with Him. Just like our parents, no matter how bad we do, no, no matter how much we mess up our own lives, no matter the things that we do, but it doesn't change the fact that you still have a mom or dad. That, nothing in this world will ever change the fact that you still have a mom, and you still have a dad, you still have parents, and your parents will always be your parents no matter what. And you always be the, their son no matter what. No matter what society says, no matter what your family, people pre- negative hate comments and criticism the world says about you. you all, if you have a parent right now, you can always go back to them. But we can't let our own insecurities and, and uh, feelings of unworthiness or feelings of self-doubt and fear stop us from cu- and, and cutting that line, cutting, cutting that open communication line and that relationship with, with our parents, especially when it comes to our faith with God. So I want to express my love to all you guys out there that you are always worthy of His love, right? And like I said, we don't have to qualify for His love. His love qualifies all of us. And we don't have, we know it's not about being the best or being perfect. It's just doing our best we can, right? Because as human beings, we're only limited what we can do, right? We're not God, right? We're not angels, right? We're not perfect. We're not perfect beings. No matter how many people, no matter if you, look, no matter how people perceive to be, there's a lot of people I see in life, at work, in my family, in church, like they, they try to be this perfect being. And I'm not here to judge anybody. Live your life the way you want to live. But people that always try to portray themselves of, to be perfect always will always fall short. They're always going to be highly disappointed because it's, we're only we're human beings. We can't be perfect. We can't be the, we can't be perfect no matter how much we try. We're always going to fall short. So you're just setting yourself up for disappointment. And to think that you're perfect is like you know this is that's just like you know you you make it seem like the only perfect person in this world is God. So if you're trying to be per- if you're trying to portray yourself as being perfect, that's like uh, you know that's what um. That's like saying that you're, you know, that you're God himself in, 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 a, in a indirect way. But, but you can't. You have to be humble enough to understand that you're not. You know, I know I will never be perfect. I know I can't be like God, but I, but I aspire to be. I try to be, do my best. Because, you know, one of my favorite quotes is, you know, if you, you know, if you shoot for excellence, you know, um, you know, if you shoot for excellence, you know, you're going to fall short. You're going to fall in, into greatness. Right? So, but that's something that works out for me is I always, no matter what happens in my life, no matter the things I go through, um, I always try my best to make sure that I keep that line of communication, I keep that relationship with my Heavenly Father, and I truly believe that's the most important thing. Even though I need to improve my scriptures, even though I need to improve going to my attendance, attendance within my own church, even though I need to improve with my contributions of participating in the things I, in, in my church functions, right? Um, but I always put a priority in my relationship because without a relationship with Heavenly Father, then all those things that, like scriptures, going to church, you know, contribution towards my community, my congregation, that all that all those things are irrelevant. Because if you give, if you do things and give, without the without the full love of your of your if you felt any if you have the pure intentions in your heart, then what you did doesn't matter. Like if you help somebody, even though you inside you did not want to help that person, then even though you help on the outside look like you're helping them, but what you did had no value in it. Because, like you said, you didn't care, right? So that's why I always believe in making sure you do things genuinely, do things authentically, just be yourself, understand that we are, we will fall short in life. Uh, but the most important thing I truly believe is keeping that open line of communication with Him. All right, so I just want to share that with you guys. I hope you guys found some inspiration, faith, uh, from what I said to add value to your lives. So I express my love to all you guys. Um, like I said, if you like my video, subscribe to my video, drop some comments. I would love to know what you, your thoughts and ideas. And of course, if you have something you want to share and experience, please share it with others. And also, if you want me, anything you want me to talk about, any future topics, let me know. 
Uh, if you like this, if I add a value to my life, like my content, please share with the family, the people you know. Uh, but just like I always say every video, walk by, let's walk by faith, not by sight. Spread the love and positivity. Bless. Alpha. Peace.